in a little short while. In the meantime, here's more news. The burials of the victims of the Londiani Junction truck accident have begun with families picking their remains for final rites. The burials began as two bodies remain unidentified at the mortuary. 53 people lost their lives in the tragic accident that saw a trailer lose control and ram six public service vehicles and roadside traders. Scores were injured in the accident. Let's get more from our very own Brenda Wanga. At the home of the late Samuel Kinyanjui in Kahurura, Londiani, Preparations for his burial are underway. Friends and family brought together by the sudden and tragic death of the 39-year-old construction worker last Friday. Kinyanjui was simply at the wrong place at the wrong time when he died. His mother says her son had all but called it a day at work before he was asked to go back to the junction and to his death. Kinyanjui died alongside 52 other people that fateful evening. Another one is laying their kin to rest. The family of the late Patrick Kipkowich, a tout, struggling to come to terms with his tragic demise. His family says the young man was at his workstation at the Londiani Junction when the trailer rammed him. This loss, they say, is hard to bear. <laughs> Well, this family and community bids the let keep coach that final goodbye. Elsewhere at the Londiani Sub County Hospital and Mortuary, more families are streaming in to either collect the bodies of their loved ones or to begin preparations for the discharge of the same. John Kipngeno is here to pick the body of his sister in law. He says she was one of those trapped and killed in a matatu that she was traveling in. <laughs> The family will bury her on Thursday. The hospital's administration says they have identified nearly all the bodies at the facility's morgue. We have so far managed to identify uh, 48 out of the 49 bodies that lie in our mortuary. And the one body that is yet to be identified, uh, fingerprints were taken on Monday by the, by the police department and we are waiting a further uh, follow-up. A total of 20 bodies have already been discharged to their families, while a further 29 are set to be discharged in the course of the week. The families also confirm that the county and national governments have lived up to their promises of financial assistance to them and settled their mortuary and burial expenses. Brenda Wanga, Citizen TV.